Hey everybody, welcome to The Real Show Barbecue. Today I'm going to show you my version of teppanyaki style hibachi chicken and fried rice. Now I'm going to be doing this on my Weber kettle. So this is going to be something completely different than I've done on my channel. I am also doing a collaboration with Eric Surf 6. Link up to his channel will be right up here above. Eric is originally from the U.S. He now lives in Japan. On his channel, he does a lot of food reviews. He goes to a lot of restaurants and tries a lot of unique items that they have over in Japan. One of my favorites is when he goes to some of these vending machines that they have over there. It's amazing some of the food that they have in that country. And he also does some magic as well. So be sure to go and check out Eric Surf 6. I'll put his information below. He's going to be going to a teppanyaki style uh, restaurant. And I'm sure that their food is going to be a whole lot more authentic than mine. Again, this is my version. This is the barbecue version. So stay with us and we'll get started on this cook. All right, along with our Weber kettle, we're going to be using the Adrenaline Barbecue Slow and Sear and the Drip and Griddle Pan. These are great items to have with your Weber kettle. I highly recommend them. We're going to be using this to cook all of our rice and chicken and everything on today. And also, these gloves that I've got here, uh, these are Grill Heat A gloves. They can stand up to like 950 degrees uh, temperatures. They have some really good grip to them. So I'm going to be using this today to kind of be able to move and control how hot the dripping griddle gets. Um, because it may get a little bit too hot on a few of the items I'm cooking. So I can use this and don't have to worry about getting my hands burnt or feeling the heat at all. I mean, I can't, I mean, you can, can't feel the heat at all. And that's directly over it. So great uh, gloves. I will put in the information below how you can get you a pair of these. So we're going to go ahead and get started on this. First of all, what we want to do is kind of cook us up a little egg. Or a couple of eggs. Looks like we may be on a little bit of a slope here. We'll work with it. You can see that griddle getting hot, so we're gonna pull it away just a hair. We're gonna get our two eggs on there. These will cook up really fast. All right, we're gonna get these up. All right, we got our eggs up. We're gonna move on to our rice next. All right, a little bit of oil. And then also, we're gonna put some butter on there. Again, we're cooking at a little bit of a slope here. Try to keep this in the middle as best as I can. Put our pre-cooked rice on there. Probably about a cup and a half of rice. And a little hint on this rice. After you cook it, put it in the refrigerator for about 35, 40 minutes. And it kind of helped this firm help firm this rice up and to me it just helps cook a lot better and also i've got us some corn some cut up corn and uh, carrots and peas that we're adding to this and instead of your traditional salt and pepper that I see at most restaurants. We're going to be using this heaven made. It's incredible. Great seasoning. Again, I'll put the information below. I highly recommend this as well. So we're going to season this up. It's got some garlic in it and it's not, it's not high in sodium at all. So put that in there. All 
All right, now that our rice is cooking up really well, starting to see a few pieces of the rice that are kind of popping up a little bit. We're going to add some soy sauce. And I'm going to kind of eyeball this. Our family likes a lot of soy sauce, but this is the low sodium. So we kind of start off with that amount. All right, our rice is done. We're going to take this off. All right, we got our last little bit up. I think I'm going to just leave this right here to kind of keep, keep it warm. And I did forget one thing while I'm at it. I forgot to put my egg in there. So we're going to put our egg in there. We'll just stir that around. No big deal. Got our egg in there. Sit this to the side. Put us a little more oil. And our butter. Our chicken. This is a little less than a pound of cut up chicken breast. And again, we're going to season this with it's incredible. And I'm just kind of eyeballing that. It's really up to your taste. If I was to guess, maybe a half a tablespoon. And again, you can add more. I would start with a little because you can't take it away once you add it. While our chicken is cooking, we're going to add us some onions. We like some good caramelized onions with ours. Get a little closer to the fire. Okay, our chicken is starting to brown up nicely and our onions are starting to get caramelized. So we're gonna add us some soy sauce now. And we're gonna kinda incorporate all this together. This smells so good guys I wish you could smell it it's incredible no pun intended <laughs> you got any big chunks you don't want just take your spatula which is a our Mercer culinary great stuff We'll let this cook a little bit longer. We like our onions really uh, done. Chicken is done. Onions are cooked good like we like them. So we're going to take them off and it will plate this up. And we will show you what it looks like with the rice. All right, here's our finished product. It looks awesome. Sorry guys, this is the closest thing I get to chopsticks. Sorry to disappoint you. Let's give this a try. I want to get some of the onions, the chicken, and the rice, a little bit of the egg in there, some of the vegetables. Oh man, I mean, the smell is amazing. Hmm. This is not too bad for backyard teppanyaki. It's not all fancy, but it is sure good. 
to me. Awesome. Sorry. A little egg in my mouth. Good stuff. Hmm. Highly recommend doing this, guys, if you can. Slow and sear, drip and griddle combination on the Weber kettle. This is so simple to do, really. And you get such a close version if you go to a Japanese restaurant. I mean, this is almost spot on. You can adjust the season as you like it, but I do recommend it's incredible. I have made products. Super, super combination of everything together. Thank you guys so much. As usual, I appreciate your support. If you haven't subscribed, I hope you would consider. And remember, Eric Surf 6, if you have not subscribed to his channel, please consider that as well. Very entertaining guy. I really enjoy watching all his videos. So until then, guys, thank you so much again, and God bless.